Hello, I'm the Eternal Newbie. The extra L is for learned. Today, I'm sticking with advice mode. After all, I'm just full of wiseness and smartness. My video is about not getting ahead of yourself. You see, I have a friend who started playing about the same time as me, but unlike me, he has made some rookie mistakes. He's fallen into a trap. The trap of thinking you know more than you do. This is a very human mistake to make. I mean, I think most of us do it at one time or another. Well, not me, of course, but most people. So my friend is starting to learn the rules and thinks he knows them pretty well. And he's not bad with the basics. The problem is, he thinks he knows them better than he does. He'll do something, the DM will tell him it fails, and he'll argue about it and why he didn't fail. Now, you may think this sounds like a rules lawyer, but it's much, much worse than that. It's a rules lawyer who doesn't understand the rules. I don't really like rules lawyers. The voice, on the other hand, just loves them. Now, my friend, we'll just call him a, t I mean, Steve. Steve is a good guy. Animals like him, and he is quite the ladies' man. But he's just a bit full of himself, and he always has to be right. People like that are annoying. So, we were playing, and Steve is a fighter. At this point in the campaign, we've broken into the mansion through a secret tunnel and are exploring the basement, which is really a dungeon. Now, for your viewing pleasure, the Eternal Newbie is proud to present the rest of this story in play form. The brave adventurers have entered the mansion. Strangely, it seems empty. Finding a hidden staircase, they enter the unknown. What's down there? I don't know. The party descends and carefully works through the dungeon. The stealthy rogue scouts ahead and the party surprises a few groups of guards who they easily take care of. As the party finishes off yet another group of guards, Steve has an idea. I've got an idea. Take a break, rogue. Okay, whatever. What are you doing? I'm going to sneak up and peek around the corner. Okay. Roll for stealth. Steve rolls a 19. Yeah, bite on that, rogue boy. Uh, girl. Don't forget, disadvantage because of y'all chain mail. This time, Steve rolls a 3. He looks at his roll. Then a smile creeps across his face as he adds his minus 2 modifier because of his low dexterity. Something he'd forgotten to do on his higher roll. All of a sudden, he looks happy. I'm happy. That's a one. I get to re-roll any ones because I've got halfling luck. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. You can only re-roll when you get a one on a die. No, that's not how it works. When I get a one on a skill check, I get to re-roll. But you didn't roll a one. The arguing continues for a while. A player even shows Steve the wording of halfling luck. But Steve will not be deterred. I will not be deterred. I get to roll again. Fine. Whatever. Roll again. Steve rolls again and rolls a seven. The guards around the corner hear him and come to investigate. They sound the alarm and the brave party barely is able to get away as all the remaining guards in the dungeon rush at them. Steve blames DM. I blame you for this, DM. You shouldn't have made me roll with disadvantage. By now, the rest of the players are pissed at Steve, and the game breaks up. Steve, still sure he's right, reads the rule one more time and realizes he had been wrong the entire time. Huh, maybe I was wrong the entire time. Now... Let's look at what Steve did wrong. Nobody was mad about him not knowing or misinterpreting the rules. When you play with new players, you expect that, and most people are willing to help them through it. Lots of veterans even enjoy helping new players. The problem was, Steve argued about it, 
and wouldn't listen to anyone. He'd fallen into that trap I talked about earlier. He understood the basics and took that to mean he didn't have anything else to learn. That's a problem. Nobody wants to play with that guy. He also made the rather major mistake of not listening to others. Most veterans are happy to help you, but if you don't listen, they are going to get tired of you pretty quick. I got kicked out of this game. Steve! I mean, Steve got kicked out of that game, but he learned a valuable lesson from it. Never be so sure of anything that you won't listen to others. D&D has a steep learning curve at times, but there are plenty of people out there willing to help you if you're willing to listen. Thanks for watching my story. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other ones and give me a subscribe. If you have things you'd like to see me talk about, send me a message or just leave it in the comments below. And while you're at it, why don't you check out my mostly inactive Twitter. And as always, have just a great day.